welcome to another episode of Watch and Roll. Today we have a very new product in the market. These are the Vortex Diving Watch Straps. Uh, this brand main goal is to attempt to make the ultimate watch strap. And to make the ultimate diving watch strap, there is a set of unique features that are unavailable in the current market. So let me get this out of the way. Okay, and let's start with this. I'm gonna tell you the design features. Number one is the proprietary 2.5 thick spring bars, aka Seiko Fat spring bars, that have a quick release system, but this is not a conventional quick release bar design. What do I mean by that? On this quick release system, the action lever is positioned all the way to the far right. This way, they could move the lever aperture all the way to the right side to have an opening to make it easy to remove the spring bar if you want to put your own stock diving spring bars. At the same time, it is easy to also remove conventional spring bars with a tool because of the aperture. Now, the disadvantage of the 2.5 diver spring bars is that the bars are too thick for non-diver watches, including Swiss divers. Therefore, these Vortex spring bars have tips thin enough to accommodate Swiss divers and non-diving watches. That's a lot of versatility right there. Okay, so number two is the mono wave design. Usually Japanese divers have a two to three, for example, this one, wave design. The reason for this is as the pressure is increasing and your body shrinks, the strap also shrinks to adjust to your body. Also, the wave design adds a lot of flexibility. This, the advantage, the disadvantage with this Japanese accordion design is that it doesn't place well on small wrists because the wave design prevents the keeper from going all the way up. And what do I mean by that? Let me show you. If you have small wrist, the keeper won't go all the way up, making this strap to have a little bit of slack. Now, I had to cut this Seiko diving strap to make it shorter because I will have a lot of slack on this strap, right? Well, that doesn't really happen with these Vortex straps. So this mono wave design is kind of a hybrid, taking the best of both worlds to have the advantage of an accordion design, but to have enough room for the keeper to go all the way up. Number three is flat pin buckle and flat holes, making it very secure while being able to add holes and put them close to each other. This creates much a much higher degree of micro adjustment and because the strap is fairly thick, it is still very secure and durable. If you notice, the holes go all the way up and all the way down to increase the number of wrist sizes. Now check this out. I have a five and three quarters wrist in circumference and the strap fits me well without any annoying slack. The holes have a special internal design for the flat pin buckle to sit naturally when close, so you don't get these uncomfortable bumps despite being a thick strap, it works exceptionally well. If you see the holes, you kind of have some cuts underneath and on the other side too. Despite being a thick strap, it works exceptionally well in terms of proportions and size, it doesn't get better than this. Number four, two keepers to secure the strap in place on high pressure and strong wiring currents one keeper with a protuberance underneath that locks in place with the strap and the second keeper closing the gap in the middle of the strap that leads to an unintended release of the strap. A multi-direction drawing pattern on the bottom side that will maximize water drainage and grip including on the keeper's bottom side. Number six, it is made from silicon and stainless steel. Now, why silicon and non-vulcanized rubber? or FMK. Well, other materials such as FMK handle abrasive substances better than silicon the, and oils also. The purpose in mind is to dive with it. Silicon is more temperature resistant and is not affected by high temperatures. It is nearly impossible to deform. You can scratch it, I mean, you can stretch it and pinch it, but it's not as affected as other materials. It is very flexible, softer, 
it is more comfortable, there is no allergic reactions and it's not toxic. That's why medical polymeters that go inside your body are made of silicon. It is exceptionally resistant to hydrolysis. That is the problem you will have on other materials that have a lot of contact with salt water. Now they also have it on black. Right now I have it on my Marine Master Professional Tuna. And let me show you how it looks. All right, so I put it on. If you see, there's a lot of micro adjustments. Uh, if, if this is too loose, I like them very, very tight. So I can go the extra mile and have it very tight, but it's still not too tight. So there's a lot of rooms for micro adjustment. And then I will put this, let me... Okay. All right, so this hole connects to this other keeper. And as you can see, it's pretty thick, but because it's soft and pretty flexible, it wears exceptionally well. Check this out and check how there's no slack and it's secure in there. Again, I have a five and three quarter reach uh, wrist in circumference. So I have a very, very small. So it's able to accommodate very, very small wrist while able to fit very big wrist also because there is a number of holes all the way down so you can you could probably you could probably fit even this size of wrist I don't know, that's uh, around a seven inch something. As you can see, I removed the spring bars, the stock, the vortex spring bars, and I installed my own Seiko fat spring bars. And if I want to remove it, well, these are drip log holes, but you can use a tool and it's, it's much more convenient to remove these spring bars when you have this big aperture to get the tool in there and again because this aperture is actually usually um, quick release apertures are positioned around right here but this one is moved all the way to the side so it is very secure it doesn't that that hole literally doesn't move so this is how it looks sorry i just made it dirty this is how it looks on my seiko tuna Marine Master Professional 300. It's really, really nice. It's very soft. And this is how it looks on my Oceanus Catchalot. This Catchalot doesn't have Seiko fat spring bars. So it's, it's right now it's using uh, the Vortex straps, which fit very, very well on these divers. And uh, something about this catch is that it, the distance, the, it has very, very short lugs. So it, it's kind of snuggy in there to, to adapt this trap. But again, it fits very well. They're, they're really nice. If you want to know measurements, it's meticulously proportioned at three millimeter thickness and 4.5 millimeters on the spring bar section. 120 millimeters long and the, on the other strap 70 millimeters if you want to check these straps i will leave the links down below uh, these are very unique currently these are the only straps with these specifications in the whole watch industry right now you're not going to be able to find these features unless other brands start copying this let me know what you guys think and i'll see you later